Lightning hosting the Knights, and the Knights are minus 102 on the money line. The Lightning are minus 118. The over-under is at six and a half goals. The Knights getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 250, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Lightning laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 202, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. It is supposed to be Thompson and Vasilevsky, but neither goaltender has been confirmed for tomorrow's game. Head-to-head, -head, the Knights are on a three-game winning streak. The Knights are 7-3 and three against the Lightning in their last 10. The underdog has won the last five games. The underdog is 8-2 and two on the money line, and the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 9-1. and one. There have been seven one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last four games that they've played against each other. The road team is 6-4, and four. the over is hitting their last two, the over is 5-4-1, and one. and the over under at 6.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. Granted, these are two quality teams, so generally a team that's getting goals, you know, it, it's beneficial. The Knights are 2-2 two and two in their last four, nine goals, seven goals, nine goals, nine goals, five goals in a win, two goals in a loss, six goals in a win, three goals in a loss. For the Lightning... They are 2-2 two and two in their last four as well. Five goals, 11 goals, six goals, seven goals. One goal and a loss, seven goals and a win, two goals and a loss, and then six goals and a win. Which version of either of these teams are going to show up? And if you're asking as far as goaltenders are concerned, I definitely trust Vasilevsky more than I trust Thompson. Just hands down. But I'm going to roll with the underdog stat here. It's very rare that you're going to get the Knights as an underdog. So I'm going to take the Knights with the money line. I'm going to take the Knights getting the goals. And I'm going to go under in this one. I think Vasilevsky will be the reason why this game does not go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.